Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today, I'm joined by Bill from the Literacy Council here in Rockford. How's it going, Bill? It is going fantastic. Thanks for being here today. Yeah, absolutely. So for those that don't know, uh, tell me a little bit about the Literacy Council, your mission, and how long you've been knocking out of the park here in the 815. Sure. Well, uh, the Literacy Council has been helping the community for over 35 years. We actually just had our 35th anniversary recently. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, yeah we're here to help the community to improve literacy skills. Basically, Basically, to, to help people uh, achieve more by being more competent and more confident in their life skills. Nice. And so, uh, yeah, I think it's like one of those things that a lot of people don't realize in terms of a need in our community. Like how many people just can't read that it, live here in Rutgers? It is amazing to me. I uh, recently moved here and in the process, I did some research and found out some information. and. Surprisingly, in Boone County, uh, Winnebago County, and the northeast corner of Ogle County, which is the area that we serve, uh, we have about one in 10 people that have issues with their literacy. And uh, it is an amazing number when you consider how many people live in their area. We have about 40,000 people that need help with literacy. Wow. Uh, whether it's a matter of uh, it's English as a second language for some of those folks, or it's people that struggled getting through the school system in the first place and need help getting to become uh, confident readers and writers and you know build their life skills so that they can be productive members of society. Yeah, and so you guys operate heavily off of volunteers. Absolutely. Uh, so that's a little wink, wink, hint, hint, if you didn't get that. <laughs> well, and the nice thing is, is we really are looking for volunteers on a regular basis. We have um, participants on a wait list right now because we need more volunteers. So if someone out there is willing to give two hours a week to help an adult learn how to read, write, and increase their life skills, we could use you to come and help us. Awesome. It, it only takes about a week uh, to go through the training. You don't have to be a teacher. You don't have to have any prior skills to speak of. Just a, a willing, open heart to come and lend us a hand. Very cool. And I know the Literacy Council is a nonprofit, and so you guys actually have a fundraiser that's coming up that's running the month of March, correct? That is correct. Uh, Jersey Mike's has been so amazingly wonderful to us over the last number of years. And uh, the month of March is their month of giving. So every day in the month of March, a portion of their proceeds are going to go to the Literacy Council. And on March 31st, 100% of everything that is coming through the door that day, they're going to donate to the Literacy Council. And with the way COVID has hit so many nonprofits, we need to find a way to get the word out because we could use every possible person helping us in this fundraiser that we can find. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you, Bill, so much for taking the time to get together and chat. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. Uh, whether you are looking for an opportunity to volunteer and help those in need in our community, the Literacy Council is a great way to give back. And during the month of March, if you're hungry and out and about, definitely pop on by Jersey Mike's uh, because, like Bill said, a portion of their proceeds throughout the month goes to support this wonderful program here inside of our community. And then on March 31st, be especially hungry because that's when all of the all the revenue that comes through the door um, goes to this wonderful organization here in the 815. So big shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support I'm able to get together with guys like Bill and tell you about wonderful organizations inside of our community like the Literacy Council and bring you all this positive content for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them and we'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye, Rockford.